Good morning. Um, thanks for that introduction. I'm Mike Cornell with Discover Network. Um, I feel like maybe I should uh, almost apologize to you guys. I wasn't sure what the turnout would be. Uh, Sunday morning, 8.30 in Las Vegas. So hope you guys are feeling okay and everybody uh, had a good night last night um, and nobody's head hurts too bad. Um, so I, uh, I will be talking about what we like to call the discovered difference. And um, I'm gonna try and make this worth your, your while for getting up early this morning. Um, I think there are some things that you may not know about us that will be news to you. And um, maybe some lingering uh, misperceptions about us that I'd like to uh, cover. Um, I'll also make it worth your while. Uh, we're gonna be giving stuff away, so pay attention. Uh, we're gonna give away some gift cards. Um, at the end, I'll ask a couple questions and people get the answers right. Uh, we've got five Discover gift cards and we'll also have a drawing. We'll give away three with questions, two by a drawing, and my wingman here, Jeff Judas, is gonna run around with a bucket. If you could uh, put a gift uh, business card in there, we'll do a drawing. So, uh, f uh, yeah, five, five cards worth 50 bucks each, so giving away $250 and then in the presentation, we'll talk about some other stuff we're giving away. Um, so the discovered difference is basically we have always been different. As a startup uh, card brand, um, we had to innovate and do things differently to start from the ground up. We were the, uh, essentially the inventor um, of the cash back rewards uh, bonus card. And um, we essentially were the first card company to offer 24-7 round-the-clock customer service based in the U.S. Um, we've taken a different approach recently. We used to sell merchant accounts directly, and we now do that through our acquiring and ISO partners. We realize that you guys now play a role in um, distributing merchant acceptance. And... Um, we, we realize that we need to engage you in this, uh, in this process. So um, that's, that's essentially why we're here. A lot of times we go to these shows and people say, you know, discover, you know, why are, why are you here? Your, your, your competition is not, um, and that's why. So let me um, start out by thanking you for uh, your role in helping us grow. We have um, taken this new approach and with your help, um, we've grown new merchant registrations by 139%. Um, and for three years, we are the, um, the fastest growing network of the four major networks um, in, the, in the country. We, you know, we recognize the role that you play and we want to um, engage you and incense you, uh, which we'll talk about later. So, one of the key um, measures and initiatives we have at Discover is what we call merchant stated acceptance. And the, the gray line in this graph is uh, the industry and card acceptance as a whole. The orange line is the Discover um, penetration, market penetration compared to the industry. If you look back at 2005, 2006, there was a, um, a Department of Justice case um, that was brought forth on our behalf. We were uh, victorious in that. The other card brands, the ones that begin with M and V, had, um, they had rules that prohibited their member banks from offering our brand. And <clears throat> that ruling allowed, it, it, it made them get rid of that rule and allowed us to distribute through banks and acquirers. We were no longer a closed loop system. So in, at that point, we started negotiating uh, with all of the major acquirers in the country to bake in Discover acceptance. And you can start to see those numbers go up um, after we started getting traction with that. So essentially today, 99.9% .9 of a the new merchants that get set up by a bank or processor get Discover acceptance. We also had those acquiring partners go through their existing portfolios at that point in time and 
activate and notify merchants who were non-acceptors that they could now accept. Um, the problem is this little triangle up in the corner, a lot of merchants don't know they're able to accept. Um, they've been enabled by their acquirer. Maybe they didn't pay attention to the communication. Maybe they need a, um, an update at the point of sale to turn it on um, in their point of sale system. So that's what we're focused on. Um, and we'll talk about how we uh, want to get there. Um, this whole program of rolling out acceptance through um, our acquiring partners has been successful through what we call the strength of one. The merchants now have one low price for transaction processing. They get their Discover um, combined on their merchant statement for MasterCard and Visa. And they have one point of contact for customer service, charge back, um, help desk, all of those things. Um, everybody should have some brochures on, um, in front of them. There's three of them that talk about the, the basics of Discover, overcoming objections, which that's the one where I think we could really use your help. Um, oftentimes we talk to dealers who say, um, when I go and install a new merchant, the merchant says to me, oh, I don't want to be bothered with that, and they don't turn it on. Um, a lot of the objections that we hear are covered on that, and we would like you to try and handle and overcome those objections. Um, there's more on that later in the presentation. Um, with this dramatic growth in our um, acceptance footprint, we've, we've had more confidence in doing uh, more sponsorship and marketing. These are some of the things that you may see um, we sponsor the Orange Bowl, the um, College Bowl series, uh, we're the official card of Six Flags, and also the NHL, and so we're probably happier than anybody that that lockout is over. Um, we also have um, been pushing on the card side, and Discover Card is an issuer in our own right, and we also have banks that now issue for us like the, the Sam's Club Walmart card is issued by um, GE. Um, HSBC issues a Discover branded card. Um, our issuing arm did a, a survey and we wanted to find out what cardholders really wanted out of a credit card. And the answer is it, Discover it. Um, it has all the features that people told us they wanted, no annual fee, no late fees, no over limit fees. Um, no rate increases if you happen to make a late payment. It includes rewards and it's US-based customer service. Some of you may remember our Peggy ads um, that sort of cover that. But there's uh, a lot of uh, marketing dollars being spent on it. We test piloted it in the summer and then rolled out with it nationally this year. I know I can't seem to go anywhere without uh, seeing an ad, hearing an ad. Um, I was recently driving through Philadelphia, and if any of you know that stretch of 95, there's, there's like billboards every 100 feet almost. And we had about 50% of that real estate for 15 miles. So there's a big push with that. Um, our success with um, the merchants has been, uh, you know, we, we talk with a lot of merchants and, and they say great things about us when they find out that they can accept us. Um, uh, there's, there's some more in the video I'm gonna show later, but you know, the, this one merchant here, you know, said they, they actually get notes from their, their customers saying thank you for accepting Discover. You know, we've been waiting for this. 33% um, um, of Discover cardholders who go to a merchant that say they do not accept, have a lower opinion of that merchant, and 51% of them say they won't go back to that merchant just because of that. So it's something that you, you might wanna share with your merchants and um, let them know that they're turning away potential business. One of the, um, 
the merchant misperceptions is that we're more expensive because we are predominantly a rewards-based card. And it's, it's important for merchants to understand that accepting rewards cards is key to their, their business. Um, rewards card holders are, they have multiple rewards cards in their pocket. And if you, if you tell them you don't take Discover because the misperception is that you know, we cost more, they're gonna pull out another rewards card. And they're probably gonna pay more for that. So that's a, an, an objection uh, that you wanna keep in mind. So I wanna talk a little bit about um, the profile of the Discover card holder. There, there are misperceptions out there about this. You know, we were, we were started as an offshoot of Sears, and it was Sears card holders that got um, the original Discover solicitations. Um, and we had, a, we had an image of being sort of a, a low-end blue-collar card, and we really aren't anymore. Um, our average card holder household income is over $100,000. The average age of our card holders is 41. Um, it's, it's a very appealing demographic to merchants. Um, I've seen some merchant statistics, some, some very specific merchant sp uh, statistics, where when you look at the card volume by card type, discover, while it may not be the, the biggest spend, but the overall average ticket of a Discover card holder is higher than any of the other brands. So our card holders spend more. Um, a company called Brand Keys, which is an independent third party brand loyalty company, has rated us the number one card for customer loyalty for 16 years in a row. So our card holders are very loyal to that card and it's their primary card. <clears throat> now, this, this slide talks to um, some things that we found there's not a lot of awareness about. Um, we have grown our network by partnering with other um, international firms from other parts of the world. Um, uh, the first one was JCB, which is the largest um, card in Japan. And the deal we did was any cardholder from Japan traveling to the U.S. can use their card at a Discover accepting location in the United States. Um, same thing with Union Pay in 2007. That's a um, card from China. Um, we acquired Diners Club in 2008. That helped us expand internationally in other parts of the world. Um, we've also done deals with uh, BC Card, which is Korean. Dina card, which is Serbian, and Rupay, which is from India. The, one of the key things about these card brands and the Asian partnerships in particular is it's a cultural thing for these card holders to not want to take out their card and ask a merchant, do they accept this card? Because they view that as saying, I'm sorry, your card's been declined, not you know, like here, I don't think Americans care, you know, if you whip out your, your card um, and they say, oh no, we don't take that, they'll pull something else out. Um, so it's important that signage is displayed at merchant locations so that cardholders know that they can take it. There's a lot of spend here. Um, in 2011, uh, foreign travelers coming to the U.S., spent $30 billion on these cards. Um, the average traveler spends more than $4,200 um, in excess of airfare while they're here. So don't let your merchants um, miss out on this important spend. Um, it, I, I, will, I will confess that it doesn't, it, it may not make sense in all parts of the country for merchants to accept these cards. Um, you know, in the middle of the country, if you're in Kansas or something, you don't see a lot of these international tourists. Um, so the, the major cities on the coast, um, you get a lot of Japanese and, and Chinese tourists. But one um, surprising thing we found 
is that there are a lot of um, foreign students who carry these cards. So around college campuses, there's a lot of spend also. So if you've got merchants in those areas, make sure that you let them know they can take these cards and that they promote them. Um, we've got free signage, and I'll talk about that in a bit to show you where you can uh, get that to help, their mer help the merchants promote it. Um, <clears throat> so I talked a little bit about um, how we've expanded internationally. These deals with these card companies are reciprocal agreements, meaning our card holders can travel to uh, Japan and China and use Discover cards at um, merchants that accept JCB or Union Pay. Um, the Diners Club acquisition uh, helped us expand that footprint as well. And um, we're actually the th uh, third largest network globally. And in certain parts of the country, um, like China and Japan, we have better coverage than MasterCard, Visa, or Amex. <clears throat> so we're, we're number one in those regions. <clears throat> How many of you are PayPal users? Let me see a show of hands. Okay. How many of you receive money via PayPal and not just buy things? Ah. Um, how would you like to be able to uh, use your, your PayPal account to spend that money at brick and mortar merchant locations? Okay, a couple shows of hands. So we've done a deal with PayPal, and much like the way we've grown our network um, with these other international card brands, um, we're doing this deal with PayPal to help them get into the brick and mortar world. Um, they're actually going to issue a PayPal card, uh, which is MagStripe. Um, it, it's only available for use at brick and mortar locations in a swiped environment. You can't, there, there's not even a card number on here for uh, consumers to use it online or anything. Um, so we are partnering with PayPal, bringing them into our distribution channel of acquirers, processors, ISOs, um, to enable their brick and mortar merchant locations to accept this card. They have, um, so actually, let me back up a sec. Um, PayPal will be its own network. Um, so they will be the fifth network in the US. Um, it's gonna have its own rate structure, its own um, operating regs, its own dispute um, rules, chargeback rules. And because this is being distributed through our distribution channel, those of you who have partnerships with the Mercury's and PayPros and, and those guys, you'll be able to um, share in this revenue stream as well. So you'll be a part of that distribution and a part of um, the revenue share. PayPal has been signing merchants, but their contract with us allows them to sign no more than 100. So they're focusing on what they want to be the top 100 merchants, and the rest of it is going to be distributed through us and through you. They have very aggressive plans for um, rolling this, this out. Um, their launch is in April, and so you'll start seeing marketing about that, I think, pretty soon. Um, it's interesting, They're, they have over 50 million active users in the US today. And those users, the people who receive money and have a cash balance in their PayPal account, um, that money right now totals almost $5 billion. So it's a lot of incremental spend that your merchants um, probably don't want to miss out on. The, the, the product is running on our rails, and we're a service provider, if you will, for PayPal. They are their own network, like I said. It's running on a bin range or a card range that we've owned and published for many years. It's 601104. And in order to make all this happen, um, 
you know, it, it should be out there in point of sale systems defined as Discover today. Um, but coming up as this product rolls out, um, it will need to be uh, broken out as its own card type, its own network. And um, those of you who are ISVs in the room, that means your local reporting, uh, receipts, the, the, the processors are the ones that really need to uh, focus on statements. Um, and then it needs to, to be reported as its own tender type. If there's, if there's a button on the screen for each card brand or whatever, that should also be uh, an option for PayPal. We will be having some webinars on this specifically for the ISV and VAR community. So if any of you are interested in learning more about it, stop by our booth and drop off a card and we'll make sure you get uh, an invite to those uh, webinars. Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot going on in the payments industry. Um, you know, the, the PayPal has sort of shaken up the industry. Some of our competition's not real happy that we're doing this. Um, ISIS is another player with their NFC product, Google Wallet. Um, there's all kinds of um, frequency and loyalty players out there that have QR codes and uh, their own little versions of wallets. Um, not all the phones have NFC in them, so some, some players are using uh, NFC stickers and things like that. Um, we're basically playing Switzerland as it comes to all this technology, and we are um, making sure that we're, we're trying everything out. We don't, we don't have the you know, crystal ball, and we don't know what is gonna take off, so we're, we're playing around with all of it and um, em embracing all of it to make sure that we can support uh, whatever the newest, latest, greatest thing is. <clears throat> and as we look at that, we are focused on what consumers want, which is simplicity and relevance. Um, our acquirers and merchants, you know, they're concerned about price, standardization, ease of deployment, and issuers are concerned with uh, profitability and also security. <clears throat> So this, this slide, we, um, when we engage an acquirer, there's a lot of things that we want to um, make sure that they're doing, that we're properly positioned in their sales and marketing and things like that before we offer some of the incentive programs we have. So I'm getting to the good stuff with uh, things that, that I think will answer what's in it for you guys. Um, but a lot of this does, does not apply um, in terms of the... Uh, prerequisite from you. Um, but I do want to make you aware of resources that we have and incentives that we have going on. Um, you've got th the three brochures in front of you that cover Facts on Discover, our international partnerships. On the back of that, there's our signage site. Um, and that's the, there are free resources available to you there. And then handling objections. Um, there are a couple of other incentive programs. Going back to that slide with the acceptance graph and that little orange uh, triangle in the corner, we're looking to partner with players who have existing uh, merchant portfolios who may have merchants that are unaware they, they can accept or they've got you know, objections that need to be overcome. Um, if you think you have uh, pockets of merchants like that, we have incentive programs to light them up. Uh, essentially will pay you to go back out and visit them, make the update to their point of sale, provide them signage. Um, but we do want to make sure some of these pre prerequisites are covered. Um, and then we also have um, what we call our on us pricing, where we're offering through our acquiring partners, um, essentially free discover merchant processing for a year if the merchant has been a non-acceptor. So that program would have to come through your acquirer. So this, the signage site has a number of free resources available to you. Um, it's, it's got all of our partner brands. Um, some, some of the, we've got five decal, uh, five logo decals and seven um, that have the international guys or not, depending on who the merchant is and if it makes sense. Um, if you 
sell in the hospitality space, we've got free check presenters. The, um, one of the nice things about that is we also have custom check presenters. So if you've got restaurants um, and you've got their logo file, if you upload that, we'll hot stamp it on there. You can walk in and give them these and look like a rock star. They really like them. So it's a win-win for everybody. The, the website for um, uh, the signage is discoversignage.com. I would recommend that you sign up. Um, it asks you kind of what sort of entity you are. Say that you're an acquirer slash ISO, and that will give you the ability to order the custom check presenters and some of the nicer things. Um, there, there's a, and there's a bunch of things for uh, different markets there as well. Um, we have some samples of this stuff at our booth if you want to come by and take a look. <clears throat> so the other incentive program that, that I am uh, at liberty to offer you today is what we call the Discover Rewards Program. And this is designed to get you um, involved in informing merchants they're able to accept Discover and test that it technically is working. Um, what you will do is go to discoverrewards.com, sign up for this, and with every successful test transaction that you do, you'll earn points that you can redeem for merchandise. Um, when you sign up, you'll get a kit that looks like this. It's full of information, some of it you've got there. There's some signage uh, decal examples, but the key to it is you'll get a custom test card that's um, unique to you with its own number, and that's how we track all of this. And any merchant that you do a test transaction that's brand new to us, been, that's been um, registered within 90 days, you'll earn points that you can redeem for all kinds of merchandise. Um, there's electronics, there's home appliances, there's kitchen appliances, uh, camping equipment, uh, gift cards, um, you name it, there's a lot of stuff there. Um, we have marketing material about this available if you wanted to, uh, you know, we can do email blasts to your sales force um, to help get them involved. S some organizations we've talked to want to use only one test card across your entire organization to um, accumulate all those points and then maybe have contests internally to give away the goods, um, which you're totally welcome to do that. You can key this test card. It doesn't have to be swiped, um, so that'll work. So if you remember only one thing from this presentation, I want you to go to that website, discoverrewardsprogram.com, register, and use promo code RETAILREALM2013. If you want to roll that out to all your salespeople, all your install reps, um, that's great, but there's free stuff there. You might as well do it. Okay, so we also have training materials available, and this, this, this video is going to um, probably more succinctly tell you everything I just told you, but this video is available to your sales force um, to help them overcome objections and, and sort of reset some of these uh, maybe lingering misperceptions. And we've got copies of this on DVD, we've got jump drives with it in our booth, and we'll have it on a website soon. I can. Um, send you a link, but let me just show you this, and then we'll wrap up. Thank you for taking time to learn more about Discover. As sales representatives, you play a large role in Discover's global success. Discover isn't the same company it was 10 years ago, and we need your help in informing non-accepting merchants of these changes in order to convert them into valuable Discover accepting merchants. During the course of this video, you will learn about Discover's growing acceptance domestically and internationally, as well as common misconceptions about acceptance and what Discover has done to resolve them. You will also learn how to obtain free signage and supplies for yourself and your merchants. But first, let's start with the merchant's point of view. So I guess what it all boils down to is wanting my customers to have the best experience possible at my shop. 
things have been a little rough in the past, and I've put my all into making my business successful. I've worked so hard to make it this far. I can't imagine losing a sale because I didn't have all of the information concerning card acceptance. 33% of Discover primary card members whose card was rejected have a lower opinion of a merchant, and 51% of Discover primary card members have not returned to a merchant where their card was denied. Yeah, I would certainly uh, encourage them to take Discover. There's certainly no negative to taking it, and then why not service your customers the best you can and give them what they want. In less than a decade, Discover merchant registrations have grown significantly, and we are reaching parity with the rest of the industry. Through all of this, we still remain the fastest growing of the four major networks. But with this increase in acceptance comes growing pains. We want to thank you for getting us this far, but there are still some merchants that aren't aware that they accept Discover but this is easily remedied by you, our sales representatives. Discover is different now, and we need your help in making this change known to merchants. So how can we boost acceptance and awareness? Your merchant acquiring program simplifies the process into one solution, one low price. No longer is Discover more expensive to accept than the competition. In fact, in some cases, Discover is less costly to accept. Discover is now combined with Visa and MasterCard within your merchant's monthly statements. One point of contact. This means accepting merchants have one phone number to call for all Discover, Visa, and MasterCard inquiries. All of this leads to it being easier and more beneficial than ever to accept Discover. In fact, when a merchant accepts Discover, they accept our partners as well. This includes Diners Club International, which is currently accepted in 185 countries, and our multiple partners across Asia. But there are still some misconceptions about Discover acceptance. Many believe Discover is too expensive to accept. However, this isn't the case. In fact, we're priced equivalent or sometimes less expensive to accept than the competition. Many also believe there isn't enough demand to warrant accepting Discover. One in four households own a Discover card. 60% of consumers own a rewards card. And 78% of rewards card holders use it as their primary card. Many believe it's too complicated to have their terminals accept Discover. When, in actuality, their terminals already accept Discover and they aren't aware. In addition, Discover is now combined with Visa and MasterCard within your merchant's monthly statements. Our visiting customers who use Discover as their first card are thrilled to death that we take Discover. And people who are now starting to use Discover in San Francisco are happy that we take Discover as well. Because a lot of the other bakeries or shops in the area don't even take credit cards let's Discover. So it's really, really nice to have that advantage over there. To help absolve these misconceptions, Discover offers free signage and support for you to provide to accepting merchants. Just visit discoversignage.com and place an order. But we couldn't do this without the help of you. Discover is implementing a point-based system that will reward sales representatives for successfully selling Discover at the merchant level. Points can be redeemed for hundreds of valuable items such as gift cards, electronics, housewares, jewelry, and sporting event tickets. Visit discoverrewardsprogram.com and sign up today. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Discover and everything we offer you and your customers. Nice.